Um, welcome to Kaveti Law Series. This is uh, Srinivas Kaveti again. And today we are going to talk about uh, international divorces. You know, divorce is a, a local subject. You know, when people get married overseas, when they come to America on a student visa, F1 or F2, or if any families are coming to United States on an H1B or H4, and some families, they also come on L1 visa. If you guys are married overseas and if you come to America, if you're living in America, if uh, spouses are subjected to any domestic violence or if you're a battered spouse, most of the times we get phone calls from women because if you see the statistics in all over the world, women are subjected to cruelty because of their weakness. And especially when they come to United States on the dependent visa, uh, on um, when they're coming with their husbands, so husbands have a higher uh, power so they always subject uh, the wives or children uh, for domestic violence or they also uh, you know do the mental and physical cruelty sometimes even financial abuse too they don't allow wives to work and they don't allow the wives to open up a bank account they don't allow wives to even drive in this country when such things happen if you are a, a battered spouse if you're in such circumstance and if you think that uh, your children are being neglected or they're being abused you know children have certain rights in this country so as uh, wives i mean immigration has given certain uh, uh, you know privileges for such battered spouse that you could apply for a u visa you can also if you're on a dependent visa um, let's say if you're on h4 or if you're on an f2 you can apply for a, a work permit for two years and if you can prove that uh, if you can cooperate with the prosecution and police in um, getting your spouse punished under the domestic law which is under the you know domestic violence law then um, the immigration will also give you a green card i mean guys uh, don't uh, take this uh, information and abuse this because if you give a frivolous complaint to the police i mean being spouse also you'll be subjected to prosecution um, the other thing is if it is a bona fide and genuine reason then you can approach the immigration you will also get uh, work permits the beauty and the good news is you don't have to pay the immigration processing fees it's for free you can make an application but there are some lawyers in the country those who will help you for pro bono and there are certain non-profit also they will help you and um, you can also contact us we also do um, we also help a lot of uh, a battered spouse in the country for getting a work authorization and for getting a green card through uh, you know battered spouse syndrome the other thing is in terms of property many times husbands they uh, threaten their wives saying that hey i am the breadwinner of the family i bought this house in america i bought these properties back in in, in overseas you know if you if your husband has acquired some properties after the marriage that amounts to a marital property what does it mean that husband and wife both have equal uh, equitable distribution of the property and again this is a, a state subject 50 states have its own law some states they call it as equitable distribution some state is called community property but uh, spouse do have certain rights in the property and in terms of custody of children many times uh, the husbands they threaten the wife saying that i will take the child and i will send you back to your country that is not the case the husband and wife have equal rights in raiding the children are bringing the children and for the best interest of the kids the judges will uh, give custody for both the ch both the spouses they will see uh, who is the uh, you know victim most of the times uh, the children are given to the victim spouse and you know there's certain rights for the children as well you have property rights and uh, you know you can also get divorced many times if you see some countries uh, there is a stigma there are some catholic countries uh, they don't have divorces uh, like Philippines and some South American countries, they can only get for a nullity, a nullity of marriage. But in America, you can get a divorce even though you got married overseas. So this uh, video, we are trying to do it for, um, you know, for, uh, you know, audience for many countries. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, please get in touch with us. We handle so many cases like that, international divorces, husbands in America, wives in overseas, or sometimes wives in America and husbands overseas, children overseas, sometimes children in America, different permanations and combinations. We advise international law. We have some lawyers who practice international law in our firm. Please get in touch with us. And if you like this video, you know, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. 
and if you have any questions please send us in comment box we will try and answer your questions please get in touch with us and you can see our contact details on the on the on the on the video and um, thank you very much um, thank you very much